what is up what is up what is up fs club new mods new mods and testing uh seasons update and more updates hopefully you guys are all having a good friday if you guys are watching this on friday but we have a lot of news to get to first of all if you have not followed us on twitter make sure you guys do it's at fs club xbox or on facebook at fs club console guys we hit that big 7,000. next way to go eight thousand eight thousand we're getting like what two three hundred new people a week that is good Thank you guys for being part of the club. It's just growing every single day. But anyways, mods that are in testing. Let's get to it. Here we go. PC side, we have the Agromash, the Dondi 800. Uh, we're just going to call that Bach because I am bad at pronouncing things, and you guys all know that. Uh, we have the Old Man Statue, placeable swing and sliding gates, and swing and sliding gates. PS PS4 and Xbox One. I know everybody's been wanting this. The Fifth Wheel Hitch Pack was on FS17. Then we have the Dutch Fur Torpedo RX 170, the Dutch Ratmaster 4044, egg pallet, which I think that is like the same egg pallet that is on PC. What it does, you bring a pallet next to your boxes of eggs and it collects them and puts them in a pallet instead of doing boxes. Then we have the Fint Varios 900, the FS09 Horse Husbandry, XJM Double Claw, Hold Run, Gents Hem 583Z with ESP Cab, the John Deere T560 pack, the Kroger HKD 150, Canadian BE6, Limkin Diamond 12, New Bartle Shagan, Nova Cat 301 X8 Varia, Osina Map, Placeable Large Cow Pasture, Placeable Straw Barn, we're just gonna call that a Somo, a Sowo, Rogue River, Root Crop Storage, TGS 41500 IT Runner, and the Vidcon Andex 393. Waiting to be tested is 27 and 3 weekdays. Uh, the weekend is soon upon us. Time for an update. Ooh, Guardians of the Galaxy, one of my favorite movies. Okay, seasons, guys. Seasons. Here we are. 94% done. We will not be able to release as smoothly as before. We don't have hundreds of testers like we did for FS17. So be warned. Be warned. You'll find bugs. If you report them, we'll fix them. Once we know we are stable, we will go to, go to consoles as well, hopefully quite soon after release. So what does that mean, guys? That means PC will be getting seasons before consoles. Hopefully it's not going to be too long, but you know what? I'd rather the game be fixed. I'd definitely rather, rather, uh, rather have it fixed. Uh, again, I also want this released, but there is only so much time in a day. We are not going to divorce our wives and quit our jobs to make a mod as a hobby. Due to the nature of FS19 changing a lot of things internally, this whole rewrite just takes a while longer, longer than we expected. Let's hope not that's not the case for possible future versions. So that is Seasons. I'd rather have a fixed version than a version that's making my game crash. I can tell you that right now. More news. Patch 1.4 will be released this next week. Uh, on Tuesday, June 18, 2019. The patch will be ready at the following times. Uh, 5 a.m. Uh, to 10 a.m. Wait, actually, 5 a.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time, I think that is. Uh, on both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And PC at 4.30. Uh, they, let's see. Patch notes. Fixed crash with a very large full draw distances. Reduced stuttering with slow hard drives. Improved day-night day transition, but that's only with PC and Mac only. Reduced spe specular lighting flickering. Uh, vehicles and sound improvements, graphics and quality. Fixed rare issues with bail collisions on consoles, uh, performance improvements, and fixed helpers folding cotton harvesters with a bell loaded. Uh, let's see, fixed rare issues with bail collisions on consoles. What this is also supposed to do, uh, you'll be able to use the uh, new RDC map. Uh, they're supposed to be bringing it right back to consoles. So, guess what, guys? New crops. I have not made the map tour of that, but as soon as it is fixed, I will be definitely making a map tour of it. So, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Okay guys, well guess what? Let's go over to the console and let's look at the new mods. Okay, here we are on the Xbox. So let's take a look at these new mods. Make sure you go to mod section. Remember, press that L or L3 button in guys. Shows all mods. Because right now it's just showing top mods, that's it. Okay, under medium tractors we have the Shooter 2500 VL by Giants Software. Uh, price is 124,000, 240 horsepower, and 32 kilometers per hour. So they made a new tractor. Wow. 
On the trucks, we have the TGS 41500 IT Runner by PM Modding. Uh, this has a hook lift. Uh, price is 195000 to 215000 Power 430 to 510. Let's download that. On the forestry equipment, we have two. We have the HJM Double Claw by HJ Machine Boo. I think that's how you say it. Can be varied in width to fit the space in between rungs. And then we have the Gents Hem 583Z with ESP cab by Ben Star and Ronnie B. Uh, the big trailed PTO driven chipper from Gents is now available with an even wider range of tire setups and predefined colors for you to choose from. Uh, the Z 583, the, wait, sorry, the 583Z is capable of chipping logs up to 56 cm in diameter and can now be customized even more to your liking. Uh, can be found in forestry equipment, requires 250 horsepower, base cost is 88,000, customized machine color, crane color, and tire setup, choose from different designs with or without the Palfinger ESP cap. Okay, so let's download that one. Okay, under front loaders, nothing. Wheel loaders, nothing. <laughs> Trailers, nothing. Uh, plows, we have two. We have the Cleveland BE6 by Catfan18. Uh, price is 12,000. Working with working speed is 15. Required power is 120 as 1.8 meters. It's kind of small. Oops. And then we have the Limkin Diamond 12 by Metalfu FS and TCL 98. Price is 45,000. Uh, working speed is 17 kilometers per hour. Required power is 225, and the working width is 4.5. Okay. Then we have under subsoilers nothing. Let's see. Subsoilers. Anything else we have under packages? Ooh, we have the placeable straw barns by Costia and Edge Gaming. A uh, nice and clean barn that works as a sell point for straw, grass, hay, and silage. Selling prices for each product will fluctuate and show up on the PDA. Price is $50,000 and it's 18 by 23 meters. So let's go ahead and install that. Under objects, uh, nothing. Farm buildings, we have an update to the placeable large cow pasture. Uh, animal pen extension is ready. Okay, so that's what that is. And anything else? Let's see. Gameplay, nothing. Others, nothing. Okay. So we do have two new maps, guys. Two new maps. And looks like an update to new Bartle Shagan. The update to new Bartle Shagan. Animals pen extension ready and flickering of map boundary fixed. So that is fixed. Okay, two new maps. Rogue River. And this is by... Uh, Catalyzer Gaming and FDL Logging, which I thought they weren't doing anything for consoles anymore. Huh. Rogue River is a forestry only map full of changing terrain. So, guys, still getting your forestry maps. I will not be doing a tour of that one because I'm not really into forestry. And it's not much to really say about it that much. And then the Pisma Zoro. <laughs> and this is by Prez Mont Sun. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to Prez, yeah, I'm gonna call it Prez. The map consists of 41 areas, 32 arable fields, and two forest fields. You can sell crops on three stationary purchases and train buying. The train is an important element of the map because it is integrated into the farm. Advantages of the map. A large area with obstacles to riding, or to horseback riding. Sawmill for trains. Loading ramps for the train on the farm and at the store. 32 fields varied in sizes and shapes. Two forest areas. Train path integrated into the farm. Field number 12 prepared for the development of the farm. Additional via a flat fenced area for purchase prepared for additional buildings and mods. Good optimization. A well thought out arrangement of roads, uh, tracks, and utility buildings to make the game more enjoyable. Many beautiful landscapes and interesting places to explore. And road traffic. Okay. Woo. Uh, let's get into and see these new mods, guys. Okay, here we are, you guys. First thing, let's take a look at the new tractor, which is under medium tractors. All the way over here. Uh, where are you at? Uh, pass you up? I don't think so. There it is. The 2500VL is 124,000. It is only five slots. Not bad. 240 horsepower. Can you change the color? No. You can have trail bore, Michelin. With trail bore, you have standard, wide tires, twin wheels. 
and with Michelin you have standard wide tires or twin wheels okay so it's the same uh, let's do this one standard for right now okay so here is this tractor nice little tractor uh, let's bring up the window to see if there's any other extra icons okay it does not look like it nope usually the giants don't have you know the open windows like the other ones do so let's turn the engine on Ooh, nice engine sound okay lights turn signals doesn't look like they do anything in there I like the little, little smokestack right there well exhaust I should say Twenty one miles an hour. Okay, nice little tractor. Let's put this right here. Okay, that is that tractor. Okay, the next thing we have should be under trucks. Okay, where are you? Uh TGS Let's see, 41500. There it is right there, the TGS 41500 IT runner. It is 195,000. It is 430 horsepower, it is 36 slots. Uh, let's see, you changed the main color. So let's put, of course, our normal John Deere green design color. Pretty much any color with that. And rim color, you have any color with that. We have Wilbrand Trellborg or Lizard with Standard or Nakeen with Communal. Uh, let's let's do this one. We have engine set up to 41 430. The uh, 8x8 is an extra 10,470 horsepower. The 510 8x8 is 510, 20,000 extra dollars. So you can go all the way up to there. Okay, here is this one. There's that engine, lights, turn signals. So there is the turn signals in here. Here's the inside cabin, beacons, lights, turn, and hook lift. Okay, so there is that one. Turn that off, let that close up all the way. And let's get to, to the next mod. Remember guys, if you guys see any bugs with these mods at all, make sure you guys put it in the comment section. Okay, the next mods we are going to be taking a look at. Let's go over here, let's go to plows. And if we go all the way over, let's see. Uh, Limpkin, where is Limpkin? Uh, there it is right there, 45,000, it is five slots. This is the Dimage 12. Require horsepower is 225, guys. And there's no options for this one. So there is that one. We have one more. Uh, there it is right there. The BE6 Cleveland, 12,000, nine slots, 1.8 meter working width, and 120 horsepower. Uh, this one you cannot do anything with either, like coloring or anything like that. So there is the two plows. Really nice plows though. Okay, let's take a look at the next mods. Uh, let's see. Uh, the next one should probably be. Let's check front loader, see if it's there. Looking for the HJM double claw. Where is the HJM double claw? And CSC stuff, Flegel, Lizard. Um, where are you, double claw? Got lots of stuff. Okay, I don't see it right there. Okay, found it. There is the HJM double claws. 5,950, it is two slots. And there is no options on that to color it either. So there is the double claw. Not too bad. Okay, the next mod we have, I think it is the last, last mod actually, besides the placeable. Uh, I believe this one should be under, where are you at? Forestry equipment right there. Okay, let's see. Uh, that is not it. Where are you at? That is not it. There it is right there. The 583Z. It's 88,000. Seven slots. I mean, is that it? Yeah, that is it. Let's make it sure. Uh, 250 horsepower. Let's see. You can change the main color of it. 
So you can put it blue like they had in their picture with red. And you can either have red or black. Actually looks good like that. Trailborg Michelin. Standard or communal or Y tires. Design we have basic or we have the Palfinger ESP cab. Oh, that's kind of nice. I kind of like, like it with that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Wow. It's nice. Can you actually get in there? No, you can't get in the cab. I thought maybe you could. <laughs> Be nice, though. This is a nice wood chipper. Wow. Uh, let's actually get a tractor real quick and check out this. Let's just get a John Deere real quick. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's also turn the help window on. Oops, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, is there unfold wood crusher? Okay, so here's what it does when you unfold it. Oh, uh, look at that. And then, of course, you get your crane. Turn on wood crusher. Oh, yeah, the unfold pipe first. So there's the pipe. And then turn on. And there you go. They're going to be using this whenever I do, uh, whenever I do, uh, forestry a lot. So there's that. Let's unfold, uh, fold it all back up. Okay, there we go. So that is that. That looks amazing. It's going to go really good, mainly with that forestry map that just came out. Let's get rid of that, because that is not a new mod. And let's turn that off. Okay, guys, so these are those mods. Let's go over here and take a look at the placeable mod we got today. Okay, now we are looking for, go over here. I think maybe under miscellaneous. Uh, placeable straw barn. Okay, where are you at? Alien gym stuff. Hmm. Do not see it yet. Oh, there they are, right there. The Edge Deluxe Barn there, 50,000. Uh, nice and clean barn that works as a selling point for straw, grass, hay, and silage. They are 10 slots a piece. So let's get one of these. So we got this one, we got this one, and we got this one. Just different colors, really, it looks like. So there's that, So and uh, there's a marker right there. So you bring in your hay, straw, whatever, bring it right there, and it will sell it. Nice little barns. Edge Barn Deluxe. Uh, you can go over here, go to the sell shop, and as you can see, there's the Edge Deluxe Barn. Uh, black edition and the white edition and if you go to the selling right there there is the prices 286 396 to 324 so as you guys can see different prices on them the prices fluctuate just like any other store in the game uh, so they take uh, silage hay straw uh, grass so yeah so guys that is the mods for today let me know what you guys think in the comment section below we will do a map tour on the new map later uh, like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys pound that like button. If you have not said, make sure you guys do. Uh, thank you guys for watching this week. Uh, live streams come back next weekend, you guys. Next weekend. So definitely stay tuned in for that. Like always, guys. Have an all-stay farming. Peace. Yeah.